hello you are welcome to my channel once again if you have not subscribed consider subscribing today i want to show you how to make a long braid bonnet and this type of bonnet can be worn in two ways you can wear it as a long or short bonnet so the type of material i will be using for this tutorial is a silky material for it to be light and easy to sleep with and also I'll be using this poly or scuba material. It is stretchy enough for you to be comfortable with it while sleeping with it at night. So, the measurements needed for this tutorial, we need the head circumference, which is 22 inches in my own case, and the bonnet length, which is 27 inches. So, from the head circumference, I'm going to deduct two inches because of this material is stretchy so i'm going to deduct two inches from the head circumference so i will have 20 minus 22 minus 2 which will give me 20 inches for the head circumference so the measurement that will be in my stretchy material will be that 20 inches and the width is 5 inches so the next thing to do if the width is 5 inches when i fold it I will use half inch to join to the main fabric then I will have two inches left for me so the next thing to do is to fold together now and go and stitch it with half inch I will close it up like so so for the head band the next thing to do is to know the this what I'm holding right now is the elastic which is length seven inches unfold it is three and a half so it is length seven inches the elastic will be put at the end of the fabric but i'll i'll come back to that later so the next thing to do is to open up our fabric so as i open it up then i'll fold it into two like so so after folding it into two you measure you take your measurement so unfold the length of this fabric is 30 inches so you get a length 30 inches fabric and the width is 20 inches unfold if i did not fold it that means it will be 40 inches so the width is 40 inches but unfold it is 20. so right now the next thing to do is to measure the bonnet length out and the bonnet length is 27 inches plus sewing allowance of one and a half inch one for the hemi and half inch to join it to the head band so i have 27 and a half i have 28 and a half so like so i have 28 and a half which is 27 plus one and a half inch and on this side I'm going to measure I'm going to put the I'm going to divide the measurement that is there by two because I told you I have 20 inches there already I will divide it by two then I will have 10 I will mark it out I'll mark that thing out as I'm dividing the measurement by two now I want to start drafting my bonnet so on this side I have 20 inches as you can see then I will divide that side also by 2 so I'm dividing the length and the breadth by 2 then I'll mark it so I'm joining this point to this point I'm joining this side like so like I'm drafting a sleeve this will not be new to you if you are not a beginner so I'll go in this manner to go and meet that point that I marked out so I'll draft it as if I'm drafting this leaf. So this part that I just chalked out will be the part that I'm going to attach to my band, to my head band. So then I'll take a street ruler to connect these points together, these two points together. So I'm going to connect it with a straight line. I'll connect it like so with, gently with a straight line I'm 
so i want to make sure it's very clear so after that the next thing to do is to come and cut it out like so i'll cut it out in that manner in the manner i used to chop it so i'm doing the cutting so i will continue with the cutting of the upper edge this upper edge will be what i'm going to stitch with a straight loose stitch and gather it together on the headband so i will show you how to do that so opening the top this is how it will be to look like a sleeve to look like a large sleeve then i'll go and do stitch this together after that i will stitch this side together and this is what i'll go and do now on my machine so i've gathered it together with a loose stitch so i gathered the the largest part that largest part that is curved i gather it together with a loose stitch and i gather it into the measurement of my head circumference which is 22 inches so i have 22 23 inches almost 23 inches is what i have here because of the allowance i will use to join it together by the side so i'm going to join the side together now with half inch I'll join it together with a straight stitch down. So before joining it, I'm going to knot the thread. The thread that I used to smoke the gathers, I'm going to knot it so that it will not lose. So that the measurement of the circumference will still be there. So that's what I'm doing. So I'll go right away and join this side together with a straight stitch. So after joining it together with a straight stitch, I will bring my elastic rubber and input it like this. Then I'm going to fold this edge by half inch. Then tuck the rubber inside. I'll tuck the rubber inside. I'll fold in two places like so. Then I'll make sure the rubber is inside and I'll go and stitch. Then while stitching, I'll be careful not to allow my needle to press the rubber. So that is what I'll go ahead right now and do. Cover it like so carefully and go to the machine and stitch it with a straight stitch. Then I'll come and show you the result after doing that. Then I'll come to the upper part where I'll put the headband because it is stretchy it will still take what is there the measurement that is here so I'm going to stitch the right side with the right side so I'll make sure the right side is facing the right side like so so the joining part is where I will start from I'll start from the joining part the side I joined so I'll go on and on like that so I've joined it as you can see and I've input the rubber on the edge so the next thing to do is to fold up and do my stitch in a ditch method so I'm going to fold like so and pin it down I'll fold it to the wrong side and pin it down like in this manner. I'll pin it down in this manner. So I'm using half inch to pin it down. I'll fold half inch inside so that I'll have two inches left for me as my headband. So after pinning it down, 
I'll turn it to the right side. Then this is where what I'll place on my machine and stitch on it like so. I'll hide my stitch inside inside the joining where the joining where the band is joining the main fabric that's where i will hide my stitch so after stitching this is what i have so i have my bonnet ready i want to show you how to wear it for a long this is not even long enough because what is here can still occupy a more lengthy here so this is how you wear it and it will not allow the hair to get off or fold so this is how you wear your long braid bonnet long braid bonnet so i'm going to do something here you can as well wear it as a short bonnet and this is what i will do i'm going to put a button on the center front i will tack it down then i will use a small hook i'm going to make a small hook that i will use to hook it down so that is what i'm going to do right now so that i'll be able to wear it so this is the small hook so I'll, i'm going to stitch it it's just like a half inch and the length is not more than six inches so I'll fold it into two and stitch it on the edge so it will be on the edge of the on the down part on the edge of, of the bonnet so that's where I will stitch it then I can use it to hook it down like this so that whenever I want to wear it as a short bonnet I'll be able to do that I think it is simple so I have my bonnet as a short bonnet right now so this is beautiful you can still wear it as a long bonnet like i told you you've come to the end of the tutorial if you like this tutorial kindly subscribe like and share thank you and see you in my next video bye